Hello class, now we are entering week 11 and uh, we should be uh, having uh, lessons in 19 and 20. Uh, twice a week, everybody should visit uh, this uh, campus to learn uh, and fulfill your requirement. Otherwise, you will be behind and your final will be yeah, insufficient uh, knowledge and ability. Today, this week, our face of focus is focus is a safety. How you can use Tai Chi to help you to secure safety and harmony in your life. Okay, it's more like a prevention uh, medicine. And there are four aspects you need to learn how to prevent from problems. Number one is mentally, you know, that will have to do with your lifestyle. If you understand the meaning of awareness, and you know the principle and the philosophy of Tai Chi, you should be able to use those theories to help you to have your good lifestyle, okay? And we talked about that before, that had to do with awareness. And the second one is uh, physically, you should maintain in fit, you know, that is a fitness and uh, your uh, uh, shape you know, maintain so you won't get sick easy. So that we learn the movement uh, to exercise and to maintain your good you know, habits. Now that is the maintenance of your fitness. Number three is that you should know how to learn safely because of, in your life, it doesn't matter what, how old you are, since you can start walking, running, you could run into problem that you fall, uh, whatever it is. Uh, the situation, but then you need to know how to avoid serious injury, okay? And then the kids, if they don't know how to fall right, they could broke their arm and then they could hit their head, and that effectness, effectness is whole life. And if you're a parent, you hate to see that. So in a, even the kids, very young, you should start teaching them this exercise. So you know, they fall accidentally, and they will protect their you know vital parts, avoid serious injury. And when you're uh, adult, and uh, you are you are you are uh, less than middle age, you also could fall terribly. Okay, there are many cases, so you need to know the best way to avoid serious injury. And then when you're getting older, according to the statistic, okay, uh, one third of a uh, one third of a uh, elder. Uh, beyond 65, they will go to hospital, you know, every year, one third of 65 years or up. And guess what? If these people get serious injury, and usually 80% will not last for more than two years. And that is a very, uh, I'd say, well-known uh, fact that elder people cannot fall. When they fall, they got a hip surgery, and they got all time, you know, sit in a wheelchair or etc. That caused their, what, premature death. Even though they are 60, 70, it's not premature. Yeah, because they could live longer. The worst thing is, if you know somebody who's older than you in the in later time of life, and they got a sickness from injury uh, because of falls, and they did not die for that. They still are on wheelchair for the rest of their life. That would be big trouble, big burden for, for the family members or friends, right? So we all need to learn how to avoid se severe injury. And those things are very easy. And it's only take a short your time to know the principle and then pick up some exercise, okay? So another one is when somebody hits you or, or sorry and you fall, okay, you gotta know how to protect yourself, yeah. I, I saw some uh, four time four contact event, and there's a champion who was great very good in pugilism, in you know, punching kicks. When they get thrown down, they don't know how to put themselves. And uh, what shoulder dislocation or hit the head, and then get what severe injury. So everybody know for that's just like everybody know how to uh, kick the water, swim in the water when they fall fall into the water. Uh, you know that uh, we mentioned before. Uh, I believe the I believe universities they require students to be able to uh, swim 30 meters.
before they graduate. I would suggest that every student should know how to fall uh, from a different direction and different heights, different speed before they graduate because of that, that they can learn and they use it for whole life. All right, uh, there are many uh, statistics you can check from you know Google, whatever, about the falls. I just point out some, and then you have no fear of falling. And also there are people teaching you how to fall. You know, all the sports have their way to fall, like judo, aikido, wrestling, okay, even volleyball uh, or soccer, they all know how to protect themselves but there are many different ways. And this is something that is used in Middle West. There are some cities that hire people in martial arts to teach how to land safely, okay? And what, get what? Guess what? This guy is, is a karate teacher, judo teacher, and they learned some things from me before in landing, but he did not teach the way I asked him to do. Yeah, there's some, some mistake. I will, I will tell you how to do this correct because here they see all kind of defect. Okay, and uh, my experience in landing, well, I got a background in judo and Chinese grappling and wrestling, and uh, for 15 years, 15 years, my teacher is a very famous you know, martial artist, especially in Chinese grappling. Okay, they his nickname called a flying butterfly. Chang Dongsheng, you can find his name in Google. And he throw me in different occasions. In teaching, Polish University, I was his assistant, or in the public performance, and everywhere he threw me. I survived. So I can tell you what I learned, very reliable. And that's a very similar to Mongolian grappling force. Because the Mongolian, when they throw each other, they don't use a mat, they use a ground. And if you can fall on the ground safely, you can handle, yeah, a lot of situation. For example, this is a wooden floor or even a concrete, and you fall. All right. Please notice, it is harder than most of a uh, carpet, right? the floor, and I can fall safely because I know the way. And I'm gonna introduce all these, and these also are compliant with the Taiji principle. What are the Taiji principle used? Here. Taiji principle applied in landing safely. Number one is polarity, means that everything there's a two side. When you run into something, you gotta measure first. That means you need to be sensitive. So you gotta find out in and yang, that, that represent two forces. And then in this case, you landing, you gotta find out is soft or hard that you are landing. For example, you landing in the swimming pool. What do you do? A swimming pool, no, water, no, no problem, water. You penetrate, right? Swim. But if you landing on hard floor, concrete floor, what are you gonna do? <laughs> you gotta yield, that's called what? Following, yeah. Following. And following means what? You don't crush, you just what? Contact but absorb the force. And there are different ways to absorb. We will introduce detail later. Okay, so number one, we, we need to know everything you run into, even business, taking care of business, there's always what? Advantage and disadvantage. You, you run into something, if somebody uh, punch, you block and you punch back, but the floor is not moving. And when you hit him, the only thing you can do is yield him. You cannot punch the floor because he's not a living person. <laughs> and so you gotta learn how to adapt yourself to the situation. And then there's what? Following means that you connect and then you follow so the force applied to you, go away. And then you become balanced. You didn't get hurt. Okay, you, 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 it's a safe piece. And returning means what? When you collide, counter, you know, counter each other, you need to make it a balance by what? By turning in a circular motion. In other words, the force will go away because you make a low circle. Uh, in Tai Chi Treaty said, when you're standing, you like wave, wave, you know, balance. 
When you move, you should move like a wheel, circular, circular. So that is just penetrating or uh, uh, absorbing. So you have to learn the law of what? Returning. Uh, when you hit, you need to turn like a ball, low along the floor, so no damage on the surface. Okay? And this is an important principle. Then the last one is continuity and harmony. Continuity means when you count the floor, every part of your body will go continuously touching the floor uh, in, in turns smoothly and uh, no gap. So there's no friction, okay? And harmony means then you and the objects you run into will be what? Will be in agreement. So that is what Tai Chi teach you. Always measure, always manage uh, how to be safe and to be in harmony with the situation. Okay? All right, in technique part, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do a, uh, uh, by category. Number one, we wanna learn how to make your body like a ball. All right? Then when you touch. Number two, we're gonna learn by, by what? By pick up the right position, portion of your body to land. Yeah, you can land your body and like a wheel, but which part do you select? You, you never want your spine or your front center line to touch the floor. You always pivot the waist, you decide. Okay, we learn that later. And then three, uh, there'll be different angle. In other words, you could fall to the front or to the rear or to the side or to the corner, right? You can be able to protect yourself disregard which angle you run into. And then there's what? Different height. Uh, you fall from low or high, or you jumping up and going down, there will be different way to handle it. And then there's how to do with what? The speed and the power. More faster, more power. And could be higher or could be low, doesn't matter. So all these are variables for select the right way to fall. And finally, we're gonna learn some trios. Trios is allow you to train your body to be able to what? To respond to a situation, okay? So today, uh, in, in very short term, period of time, you can go through all this, and then next lesson, you should repeat these exercise and repeat these theories. And we also have an existing video on YouTube I will, I'll give you a link. You will see how uh, uh, the complete trios and uh, landing varieties uh, present to you. And today I want to show some of those uh, situations in detail because uh, sometimes you look at the, so many varieties and uh, you did not get in-depth in learning. Now we're gonna choose some important part for you to get in-depth study and then your technique will be more effective. So let's start from this circular motion. When you do the loadings, you make yourself like a ball, and then you make sure that your, your neck is tucked. Look at stomach, yeah. And then the hand in the beginning will help you to control your balance and assist you to do the fall, to do the loading, okay? Watch this, here. And then press here, then go. All right. So this is a, the simplest way to fall, uh, to land like a ball. And then uh, you could be uh, turning waist. So you be roll over with this leg come up. And then this leg will go out from low position, touch the ground. So you connect the, the floor with Ankle, knee, hip, each joint what? Bending gradually. So you go like this. Okay. You should start from low position. Yeah, and watch that. If I am sticking up my right leg to low, I turn my waist, which, which shoulder do I go through? Huh? I'm not going through this one, I'm going through this, the other shoulder, watch, here, down, and sticky, okay, so it's the other shoulder, and that's just the way it is, 
So you can put this on the floor, the ground, yeah, very low, and then hold your head. And then, if I go right shoulder, the up the leg will be going over like this. You got it? Ah, here, hold your head, look your head, and then kick your back leg up. Your body will be able to roll along shoulder and uh, cross your spine and then touch your upside, your yeah, upside leg. Look here. Okay, go, go. Okay, that is rolling to the side. And any time when you roll fall back, you always want to turn this way. Okay, or this way. So you go through. If it's very low position and you don't have enough height or speed to go over, then you should what? You should then on your back, but with your hand what? Slapping to the side, whole arm 40 degree from the center line to share the impact on your chest. Watch. Here. To fold it down continuously, toes, ankle, knee, and then hip. Squat down gradually, tuck your head, one, two, three, four. Okay? The, the speed and the height is not sufficient for you to go over. So you're going to land on your back. In this case, you can use your hand. So you can put this here. Watch my head. Look here. One, three, four. That's angle. And then the timing, you land on your back, your whole back with spine, your arms strike simultaneously, sure the impact, 50 to the arms, 50 stay. Better than what? Better than the 40 on your back, okay? Of course, if you can go over, then you go over, right? You go over. But now we're talking about suddenly fall, you are not able to, to turn the waist, and you fall over. But that's how you do. Huh, believe what? If this concrete, this way you still save your chest, your, 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 your spine. <laughs> you don't hit, it hurts, it's painful. And the, the worst thing is here. You go down, you go like this. <laughs> <laughs> if this concrete, that hit could cause your life. You understand? So, this could be beginning class, like a judo class, every day, and they don't go to class, they have to practice this because they throw each other and they don't want to get hurt, injured. So you got to do this. Yeah, okay, go. And don't do this. And then turn, block, one, two, then one. And watch, chin over, touch your chest. Two, and don't hit too early or too late. One sound, all right, one, and then two, and then increase the height. Height. And don't do this. Push your body back and hit on your tailbone. That could damage your tailbone. You should bend down. So when you're bending down, you absorb the power with the knee and your waist. And then close the what? The hip and, the, and your heel. Connect together so you roll all those through this circle smoothly. All right, that will make power force go away and you hit because you cannot turn, don't have enough time. All that you have done so far is very basic. Okay, watch this. Oh, I'm standing, I start to fall down and I cannot turn. Then what are you going to do? Bend your toe, knee, and the hip look down. Hip. Okay? Okay. Sometimes you cannot go over, but you can turn the waist. Then you go land what? With your one side. Here. One side. Up, up. You see? Your body is curving, right? So leg go up, body go down. I look at head. I look at here. Very important. Don't let your head go this way. Hit. At the same time, your side hit. So, one. Yeah. Okay. Here, you're falling down, pivot waist. Falling down, pivot waist. Yeah. You see? My spine is off the ground. Instead of going this. Yeah. All right? Huh. 
That this is called what? The simple loading training. All right? So uh, every day you can do a little bit so-called rocking chair exercise. Crack your head, go one, push, yeah, chin, two, three, ah, and then four, here, up, yes, and then pivot, touch that, and then the other side. Why you do this? This way will give you controllability. When you fall, you can guide your body to go across your spine, follow your shoulder. Look, here, go, yes. That's step one. Okay, simple. Just learn, make your body what used to loading whole body. Okay, now motion circle done. Secondary, how you can place your body position right. As you can see, when I fall down, I don't want my spine hit the ground. I definitely don't want my head hit the ground. So I tuck my head and I curve my body. So it's a roll, right? But you also like to pivot so you go lay on your side rather than on your back. So when you fall, watch this. You're gonna fall down, stick out your leg and curve. And uh, here, shit. And you can hold your head this way. So, when your leg is striking on the ground, you want the leg curved. If because you're still leg, you could break your knee. And you don't have two legs, what? Curls even with an ankle or knee because they could collide each other. That hurts. So you want to curve your body with a leg bent, waist bent, head tucked. And then these two knees, what? It's not in one leg, but this. So is what? Ankle. And then you're gonna land on your side. So what you're going to do is you're gonna land your side uh, like this. Yes. Okay. And the arms, fist behind your head, fist behind your head, and then tuck. Okay. Now you are like a crunch into a, a circular uh, strip. All right. So you can practice this one. Form very simple. Sitting down and then swing your leg to one side like this. Here and then go one two three and then the other side yeah. swing your leg up and then call your head and look ahead one two three four yeah. is that is that clear that's easy right okay these are very fundamental exercise you cannot even pull your leg up or you cannot even hold your head uh, properly. Well, that's a big mistake. And they say, oh, I don't have power. I cannot pull my leg up. Uh, I cannot hold my head. Hey, you need a price, you need a practice. So I always suggest you every day do a little bit of this exercise to control from your center core muscle. Like this, open, open, close. <sighs> yeah, open, breathe in, close, breathe out. Yeah. Open, breathe in. Breathe out, yeah, and then up, close. Huh. You do it, you know, every day, a little bit, or every other day. That will show you have sufficient power and the what reaction. And that is talking about protect your head. This protect your time tempo. This protect the rear, the most important part. This close. Don't do like this. Get close. Take your head. All right. Okay, that is the position to fall. Now, there are all way, you, uh, uh, all, all different way to land with different position. If I am a volleyball player, I might go save the ball and then I spin, and then I will land different posture, all right? But this way, hold your head, curve your leg, and then like a whole body, like a ball, is the most uh, reliable way when you fall. For example, you fall from a bicycle, uh, and from a running car, running, uh, bounce out, uh, jump out, whatever. You hold your head, or even you are standing on the stairway and you lost, 
balance you fall. Don't try to look or try to reach. Just hold your head, let you go. Close your eyes. Then you like the ball, and then you stop. Simply. Uh, believe it or not, this is how I survive. When my teacher throw me <laughs> in the past years, he throw me backward and side, wherever, and uh, smash hardly. I just hold my head, look at my head, okay? Sometimes he throw me on the concrete. Yeah. Now, angles means the duration. I go front, I go side, I go back. Then we're talking about height. Height means what you're training. You should start from low. Uh, as I we, we did sitting and then squatting and then standing. And then that's one thing we haven't done is what? Fall to the front. That angle, watch. I want to show you, right? Let's say this is a, a place, no light. And I walk, I can see the light. Suddenly, oh, yep. Did you see? I can protect myself by what? By extend my arm, keep my elbow bent, shoulder with it, not that is, this you can support you, you can hit here. This you're gonna hold your shoulder right there. And then the place of your forearms should be what? In front of chest. Uh, look at that. My upper body go down, my lower body come up, like a circle, right? And it just to the front. And suddenly I can I don't have an opportunity to do the rows. So I need to protect myself, but I don't want to do this. Oh, this way, <laughs> a lot of people don't know how to fall right. They can break their fingers, hurt their wrist, and elbow. Uh, that's very happen, uh, open, especially kids. So you gotta teach them in the front, low position, starting, uh, just like uh, this, hitting the ground with the forearm. One, uh, notice that? I turn my face away, I keep these two hands parallel to each other, and this is the height. Don't go this, don't go this. Right here. And I turn my head so I don't run into the floor with my nose, huh? And then also my neck. And then notice my back leg come up so body can absorb. Watch. Yeah. And uh, when you hit, relax your shoulder. Shoulder is a big, shoulder, big joint then compared to elbow and wrist. Of course, compared to fingers. So you use your finger, you're gonna break fingers. A wrist, you're gonna twist, twist, you know, spread. Elbow, if you do the wrong angle, you can break it. So, shoulder, relax. And then, higher. You put it home, you should try to spray your leg, bend your knee, and then measure. Can I handle from this height? Okay, I'm gonna do it. So watch this. You see that? Huh. And then finally, close your leg. And then go straight down. Uh, yes. Okay, I got this one down. All right? All right, now angles, you're done, you cover. You cover front and the back, everything. You could turn to the right side. A different height and different speed. Speed, you are walking, you're running, Okay, if you are running, you probably will have enough time and a height distance to do rows. Because once you do rows, you will not slide it on the ground to cause what? Skin, you know, scratching, okay? So if I am high speed, uh, go, 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 I can do this. Yeah. Oh, that's a little bit difficult. <laughs> So if you are uh, pulling down, oh, yeah, oh, yes, yeah. It can be accomplished if you start from low, slow, carefully, build up the pattern and practice the various strengths and uh, correct postures. And then you can speed up and even jump up, all right? So this is a almost like a, uh, required skill in your life, lifetime. And a lot of uh, uh, cases actually happen in your home. Uh, sit on the ground, 
Oh, that's the ice tip. Oh, oh, I did not hit my head. My body go over like a like wheel. I didn't get hurt, right? Other is I supposed to hit and the clear of or arm or or go like this, like worst. And believe what? When you learn this technique and you practice the drills constantly, you be our strength. You can do a little bit body scorping. Yes. And you have more flexibility, coordination of your body. And that's good for your health. And some exercises also can be used for healing, therapy purposes. And that's also develop your strength. Uh, for example, uh, if you want to train yourself to be sufficient to protect yourself, you should do some drill, such as like a plank. Here. All right, and reach. Okay, okay, reach. Okay, and uh, what? Walking, yeah, I call it monkey walk. Ah. And uh, this. Huh. Yes. All this exercise is what? Turn your shoulder and arm. Because even you know how to do it, and you don't have this kind of ability, you still can do, cannot do the right job, and you still get hurt. So all this exercise, you must consider as a necessity in your maintenance of your uh, strength, fitness, and what? Required what? Skill level, okay? So do rows, do swinging, do the uh, one leg stands, yes! One leg stands, there. I mean a shoulder stand, and then control your body and do those the exercise. Uh, and do some coordination exercise, such like, uh, okay, what I call it what? I call it uh, the, the, the lizard walk. Here, up, and here, up. Yeah, in the military, they, you, they use this one in, in you know, night, night time. Uh, invasion okay low and the crawl with the knee waist and this and the back up we call it a lobster watch this okay here and then bring up and then shoulder and then push one and then one two three and then one two three yeah we call it let's never uh let's uh, lobster walk, all right. When you look at the other tape, uh, I put it already in the YouTube. The, the self standing you know, demonstration, you see many drills. And in the class, uh, I think I'll just show you some exercise if you understand uh, how you can pick up these easy ones, all right. So, develop your strength and uh, your collision ability and. Pretty simple, high and low way to land. Okay, and the strike, strike to your head. Ah. Yeah, watch your head, don't do this. Ah. Okay, always keep your eye open. Look, one, and then, one, and two, okay. It is a required ability to conduct safe life. Okay? Ah, so gentlemen. Hmm? Huh? Okay. Uh, before I finish lecture and then allow you to use it this time to watch the tape, I assign you and give you a link to see the whole demonstration by me and my, my assistant to get a proper picture. I want you to remember trend from simple thing. Don't, don't rush, because you go too fast, you get injured. Yeah, so there's no free lunch. You gotta train, you gotta do simple ones. So, as I show you, do those uh, simple colonic exercise, develop your uh, strength or core muscle, and also circular motion, you do a somersault, or this one very easy, uh, I call it a top exercise, top. You know what top means? Use people your waist, 
Take your head like ball, and then hold this. Okay, everybody can do it, right? Now watch this. I fall to the side and spin from my waist. Here, look, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. And then back here, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. Okay. <laughs> you can do this one. To what? Uh, to control your waist. Because most time when you land, it's your waist. Control your arm and leg and tuck your head. And that is almost what? Common in every landing situation. Okay. Uh, as I said, when you do a fighting, somebody push you, you bottle the force, you do circular motion, you subdue the person because you bottle the force. But when then, the floor is not fighting you, it's you try to control, right? Then you have to uh, absorb the floor by running with a circular motion, then it impact the spirit. And that new skill. Okay? So, practice uh, regularly. It's good for you. And uh, there are more tutorials you can take a look in the tape uh, I assign you and uh, teach people, especially your kids. You know, your kid, kid head, and they will tell you, and then the whole life, his damaged brain. And also your parents. They get hurt, you are in big trouble. <laughs> and yourself, uh, female, male, doesn't matter how old you are, there's no discrimination. Everybody, take care of yourself. All right? Okay, uh, to be uh, for part of this lesson, then after this, log into the tape. Okay? And then in next class, you will probably review most same thing, except I will add some in a sequence of a short form, uh, the sequence. So you'll be able to meet uh, the time requirement. By the end of semester, you learn the whole 24. I notice that not everybody watch tape or lessons uh, regularly. Then you gotta pay the price. Uh, you should practice every week a little bit. And if you miss some tape, go back. You know, that's a good part of this uh, uh, online class. Uh, in the previous semesters, we only have one time to give you this information. But right now, you can repeat. And that's actually become your lifetime study. Very good, you know, I mean, uh, opportunity to keep this active with you. All right? Okay. Uh, I'll see you in second, you know, second lesson. Bye-bye.